Hello guys, in this video we're going to take another look at a module from IC Station. This is a book converter, it's a step down converter. So basically what this module does is it takes in a higher voltage and using this potentiometer we can adjust the voltage down to whatever level we want. So it's kind of like a regulator only it should be a lot more efficient particularly at higher uh, voltages. So in your normal linear dropout regulator you're kind of trying to lose a huge amount of heat uh, through kind of a resistive method I think but this is kind of switching so it generates a, a pulsing that uh, kind of reduces the voltage and I think you can kind of up the current as well by doing that but there would be losses in it as well but uh, for us, what we'd use this for is generally taking something like a 12 volt power supply and just reducing it down to 5 volts or 3.3 volts, whatever it is that we happen to need, and it'll just be a little bit more efficient when you want to have a higher current. So, the module is designed to take uh, 5 to 40 volts on the input and reduce that down to somewhere between uh, 1.2 to uh, I think it was 36 volts, so something like that on the output does have a fuse here which I'd imagine is probably uh, probably an 8 amp fuse because it's supposed to be rated for 8 amps um, 8 amps continuous and I think it's 12 amps peak so that'd be if you had a kind of a power spike maybe even a motor was starting or something like that uh, I guess it should be able to cope with that now if you're going to be doing 8 amps I'd imagine you'd need the fan operating here but from what I see here, it looks like the uh, the fan is kind of powered from the differential voltage between V in and V out. So I'm not sure how that would really relate to your to your to your current. So it's only really say if you're trying to go from 36 volts down to you know 1.2 volts, to be a huge potential difference there so your fan will be going fairly flat out even though you mightn't be drawing a lot of current but then you're also trying to dissipate or trying to uh, lose a huge amount of voltage so uh, maybe that's how it works maybe it generates a lot of heat when it's pulsing down that much okay so I have a fairly big 5 volt power supply over there just off the camera you might be able to hear the fan running on it so it should be able to supply well, maybe three or four amps if we needed it, which we won't but uh, more than enough power for what we need but to get to the 30 volts well up around I know it says 40 volts but I just put this to 30 volts to uh, I didn't want to go too high and damage it so I have this set to about 30 volts Actually, we can go a little higher it makes no difference so go to 36 volts maybe so that's plenty there's 36.2 that's plenty no need to go to the full 40 volts so this is a 13.6 volt motor and as you can see it's not spinning very fast that's because our output here is now just at 2.4 volts Actually, if I change the voltage, does the output change here? That's maybe something to take a look at. So I'll just put this back down again. So there's about 15 volts now. Uh, to my eye, that didn't change. So I presume this is a stable output. 2.4 volts. So, I think I said 2.6 a minute ago. So, it went down slightly, but considering we dropped 20 volts on this side, that's not bad at all. So, I'll shoot back up. Why I'm doing it at the higher voltage is to, uh, well, first of all, I want to put the motor up to the 13 volts. But I also want to see, does it get very hot? Right, so there's our 36 volts again. And I'll put... Probably still 
2.4 or 2.6 whatever we had it's actually 2.4 exactly 2.4 nothing getting particularly hot as yet so that uh, that'd be a good sign that it's been fairly efficient but we're probably not drawing a huge amount of current with this to be honest let's turn up the speed on the motor At seven volts, should be able to keep going. That's thirteen volts now. Nothing really getting hot yet, I don't think. Okay, so I've changed the setup here just to add a bit more of a load. So we still have our step up converter coming from our 5 volt supply. It's our step down module that we're testing. I've now got this little uh, voltmeter and amp meter set up here. It's something I made up for measuring solar panels. And we've hooked it up to over here as a, a kind of a lipo battery charger. It's a fairly substantial one so I'd imagine it'll draw a little bit more current than our uh, motor was so let's plug it in and see what happens so we're at 12 volts drawing about 2 amps so much better than the motor which was uh, drawing about 0.25 amps I think it was So oh, we'll just give this a little while and see does that heat up. Okay, well it's been running for a few minutes now. Uh, I'll just give you an idea. There's the temperature of the table. There's the temperature of the heatsink on the step up module. And that looks to be the temperature of the heatsink on the step down. So it looks like the step up module is generating a lot more heat than the step down module here. And We've been drawing, well, somewhere between 1 amp and 2 amps for, I'd say, about 5 minutes maybe now. And, you know, it's not a huge rise in that. For most of your projects that you'll be working on, you wouldn't usually be drawing that much current unless you were working with some big motors or something like that. Most of your electronics is only going to be milliamps. So, if you could set up something like this with a stable voltage, if you're making a, let's say, your, your own kind of desktop power supply, you'd maybe take a 12 volt uh, cable like something like something like one of these wall plug things just 12 volt this one comes from a RC charger but it's 12 volts and has just one of these simple DC jacks so you could take something like that and maybe set one of these up for 5 volts or 3.3 volts whatever it was you were looking for and you could just use it as a very basic power supply or you might use this to go from the 12 volts down to maybe 5 volts and then have a normal 3.3 volt regulator to bring you to your 3.3 volts just make it a little bit more efficient okay well I think it's fairly clear how that module works you just adjust your little uh, potentiometer here to whatever value you want and that's all there is to it really uh, you can see there we were dropping the voltage from about 36 volts down to 12 and while we were doing that we were drawing somewhere between 1 and 2 amps and barely raised in temperature at all maybe 5 degrees so 
you know it's fairly stable you, you seen when we adjusted the voltage here uh, this voltage output voltage remained the same so good stable output doesn't seem to rise in temperature very much so I'd say it's a fairly good module uh, particularly if you're just making yourself a little uh, bench top kind of power supply kind of idea so that's all there is to it really if you like the video make sure and hit the thumbs up and if you have any comments or suggestions let me know below the video but uh, that's everything for today so thanks very much for watching